these Air Force Service pilots used to be allowed to be buried here at Arlington National Cemetery when they died. Just last year, the Secretary of the Army said no more. Well, it took an act of Congress to change that. Women like Connellsville's own Florence Schutze Reynolds and Maryland's Elaine Harmon signed up to help out the war effort during World War II. It wasn't easy. They were military, but not officially. If you die, it's up to your family to ship your body, to pay for the expenses, pay the funeral. You get no flag. You get no recognition. This, this is it. It wasn't until the 70s that they were granted veteran status. They could even be laid to rest here at Arlington National Cemetery until a legal review by the Army in 2015. And they quietly closed the gates without telling anyone. And we didn't know about it until Elaine, you know, her family requested she be in Arlington, and it was denied. And that's when we sprung into action. My family has basically been waiting 555 days to bury my grandmother. Despite Elaine Harmon's congressional gold medal and her will that spelled out her wishes to be laid to rest in Arlington, the Army said no. Why is it in my particular life and the life of the other 1,102 was, can't even rest in peace? Here they are on the final flight and they have to fight to be recognized to get in. That's when Elaine's granddaughter, along with Congresswoman and fighter pilot Martha McSally, and Schutze got to work, getting a petition signed and passing a piece of legislation that led to this. A funeral fit for a military veteran. Elaine Harmon, a wasp, on her final flight. It kind of brings a sense of closure, but I'm also emotional because it's kind of a sense of saying goodbye to my grandmother for the final time after fighting for almost 18 months for her to be able to be where she wanted in her final resting place. And I felt today when I saw those ashes up there and I saw the wings on them, I thought, finally, the battle's over. That's like a pitting a medal on your chest. We won. We won. <laughs> That's what counts. There are about 100 Women's Air Force Service pilots still alive today, and they do not all want to be laid to rest here at Arlington. But thanks to their sisters who went before them, they are welcome here because of their service to their country. At Arlington National Cemetery, I'm Shannon Perrine, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.